Hello everyone, I'm GaffTheMast974 here again today and welcome to another Valve source code tutorial. This time around I'm going to demonstrate how you can modify the concussive blast function and class item to pass through a new variable called damage. And essentially what this is going to allow you to do is change the amount of damage that these kind of explosions do. Now, in Half-Life 2, the only NPC that uses the concussive blast is the Strider, when it sort of charges up its cannon and fires a bomb, essentially, and it blows up and does massive damage. Essentially, what I'm going to go over is how you can basically be able to change the amount of damage that does, because it's treated like a constant value, and if you're delving more into Half-Life 2 beta stuff, like the Combine Guard NPC and the Combine Guard, guard Gun Weapon, then they're gonna, you would probably wanna have different damages for concussive blasts created by those uh, entities. So essentially I'm gonna go over how you do this. So the first step you wanna do is go to weapon underscore cguard.cpp in the server project. Uh, it should be under server hl2 and unused. Um, but in my case, I'm going to show you it's weird and it's just in server HL2. You can type the name of the weapon into the Solution Explorer and find it. Um, and if you open this up, then you should see there's the temporary entity for the concussive blast and the C concussive blast class here. And further down below is an if zero statement that comments out the combine guard gun weapon. So in the C concussive blast class, you want to go to the explode function and you should see that it already takes a parameter called float magnitude. And after that, you just want to put a comma and type in float damage. So this means a new float called damage is going to be an input here. Uh, when we said, oh, find the void explode function and add float damage after float magnitude, you want to change the 200 there to damage. So I'm going to have to sort of say that, either edit this audio so that's at that point, or just add a text overlay instead. So when when you go down, scroll down, you should see um, P blast explode, and you just want to add damage after magnitude here. So essentially when it explodes, it's going to explode with a size and a damage parameter. So now... What you want to do is if you uncomment the code after the concussive blast for the combine guard gun, then there's going to be some errors that you need to fix up. So for instance, uh, a couple of the errors are going to be for a vector called vec aiming. And if you only make it specific to the Half-Life 2 beta, then it, you have to do P player, then an arrow, then get auto aim vector and in brackets auto aim underscore two degrees i use auto aim underscore five degrees in this case but you can use whatever you want now the meat of the situation here is actually passing through the damage parameter so near the top of the file you can define a convar and i call it something like sk underscore player underscore damage underscore c guards and in brackets after this, you want to type that exact same thing, but in speech marks. Uh, then after the speech marks, do a comma. Then inside um, more speech marks, you put a zero. And then after that set of speech marks, you put in FC var underscore replicated. And end it with a semicolon, because you may forget to do that. But the reason for naming it this is because it's the same as convars defined in HL2 game rules. So if you look into that file, then you should see there's a conva with a name and in brackets, it's got the same name in speech marks and then, you know, comma, speech marks zero. And after that, FC var replicated. So then if you go down to the create concussive blast call in the weapon C guard file, uh, you should be able to see it because there's a red error on the scroll bar and you can go down to that bit and it will point out where the error is then you can type in simply for the damage parameter uh, sk underscore player underscore damage underscore c guard dot get float and put in brackets after the get float so essentially it will take the convar value and 
convert it into a float and then pass that as the damage that the explosion is going to do. So if you try to build the project at this point, then you're going to get an error message because the strider uses the concussive blast function usage. So you want to go to mpc underscore strider.cpp and essentially you want to go and change the extern void create concussive blast function near the top. And after the float magnitude parameter, you add float damage uh, and define another convar. So in this case, I define sk underscore strider underscore heavy underscore attack underscore damage. I know it's a lot. But again, you just type that into speech marks inside brackets after that convar declaration. Then after that set of speech marks, you do comma speech marks zero inside the speech marks. And then after that, um, comma then FC var replicated. So exactly what we did in the combine guard gun weapon. Then just go down to where the red indicators are in the striders code and just pass through the convars name dot get float, put in the brackets at the end of it. And that passes through a damage parameter when these concussive blasts are created. Now, because I've uncommented the code for the combine guard gun, what we need to do is add the client side version of it. So essentially I covered this with the sniper rifle weapon, but what you want to do is go to the client project, find a, I think it's under HL2 as well, client HL2 and find C underscore weapon underscore underscore stubs underscore HL2.cpp. And if you open the file, then all you need to do is type in stub underscore weapon underscore class. And in this case, it's weapon underscore C guards because it's the combine guard gun then the dt underscore and it's weapon c guard so it's just the weapon c guard in this case but you want to find the dt underscore and put what's after that and the class of weapon well it's a base hl combat weapon um, and you'll find that near the top of the combine guard gun it'll say um you know weapon c guard and it's a public base hl combat weapon so you just type in c underscore ba base hl combat weapon there and you need to script so in your mod scripts folder, you need a script for weapon underscore C guard. Um, but that essentially is how you put the combine guard gun into your mod. And I'm not going to get into fixing up the beams or anything like that. Um, it's just basically showing off how you alternate the damage. But essentially, if you build the solution now, it should build properly. When you boot into the game, you should be able to boot into a map. And you can give yourself the combine guard gun, spawn in a strider. And at this moment in time, it won't do any damage because you haven't actually specified how much damage it does. So you can go to the console and type in the name of the convoy you defined and specify how much damage you want it to do. So the default is 200, um, but um, you can change it to whatever you want to. You can give the NPCs 100 damage, but the player 200 damage. Alternatively, you can go to your mods CFG folder and underneath the skill.cfg file, you can change or add, sorry, the convars and give them a value there. And when you boot into the mod, it will give you, um, it will say that's how much damage it does. So there you go. That's what you do. But yeah, that's how you change the concussive blast to pass through damage now. So hopefully you found this helpful. Please let me know what you think. I've got a pretty ambitious idea for the next set of Valve Source Code tutorials, which I don't even know is going to work right, but I can give it a shot, right? So, take care out there, peace out, and see you for the next video.